Alright, okay, hi and welcome back to our SDM portal. Okay, so now we are going to show on question 2023 Malacca. Um, okay, so the question is Table 2 shows the number of protons and number of neutrons of atom P, Q, and R. Okay, so the first one. Apakah yang dimaksudkan dengan isotope? What is mean by isotope? Okay, so the answer is atom, atom. Bagi unsur yang sama, yang mempunyai bilangan proton yang sama. Tetapi bilangan neutron yang berbeza. So if in English, the atom atom of a same element which have the same number of protons but differ in number of neutrons. Okay, that's it. Second one, choose two atoms which are isotopes. Pili dua atom yang merupakan isotopes. So, kalau you able to jawab soalan pertama, of course, the second question would be obviously betul lah. Cuba tengok yang mana isotop. Of course lah. Atom P and Q. So, that's the answer. Nyatakan satu kegunaan isotop Q. State one use of isotop Q. So, when the proton number is 6, it refers to carbon. So, in bahasa, the answer is menganggar umur bahan artifak atau fosil Bahan artifak atau fosil Okay, actually the meaning was stated in the textbook itself So for the English version, just the same thing But uh, you can refer in the textbook as well, okay, for the meaning Okay, I'm going to show for another one question as well Okay, paham question Okay, so just the same question. What is the meaning of I stop? Okay, so it's like repeating question. So you can see the pattern. So like me lah. So only I can do this thing. You all cannot do in your exam paper. The answer is yeah, good right. The technology helps me a lot. So I need to write again. So. Apakah maksud isotop? Inilah maksud isotop Atom-atom bagi unsur yang sama Yang mempunyai bilangan proton yang sama Tapi bilangan neutron yang berbeza That's it to go the marks Okay, next one Lukiskan struktur atom Okay, atomic structure Okay, so when you say about struktur atom You must, okay In struktur atom, you must show the proton and neutron as well Okay, so come So for magnesium 24 What is the proton number? Okay, I want to ask you which one is the proton number? The one that I circle with green or the one that I circle with um, purple? Comment down. Okay, so the proton number is the one that I circle with the purple color while the up one is the nuclear number. Just bear in your mind. The big one is the nuclear number. The small one is the proton number. Okay, that's it. So let me to draw so uh, 24 so what is the electron arrangement uh, what's the electron arrangement for this atom it's 2.8.2 how I know 2.8.2 because consists of 12 electron electrons so when it's an atom the number of proton and electron are equal so I just draw 1 2 and 3 all right okay so mg make sure your m is sharp okay like this i can i, I have to see this sharp if you write like this no it's wrong this is wrong you know we can penalize it bukan benda main-main in spm memang salah benda ni because this is mcdonald m mcdonald cannot okay ni kita kata m kecil m besar memang kena tajam the bucu kena tajam baru betul or else it's wrong uh, then your marks will be penalized lah. so reminder eh? don't do the silly silly mistakes so this is the button okay then two so one two 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry. Okay, and then 1, 2. Okay, dah. But they say atomic structure, right? So, tarik a line from the nucleus. Proton equal to 12. Neutron equal to 12. Ah, that's the answer. Okay, you have to label the number of protons and neutron. It's compulsory. Okay, then only you get the two marks. Okay, bilangan elektron yang betul dengan nucleus di label dapat warga pertama. You tunjuk yang ni, you will get the second mark. Because in textbook, kalau struktur atom dia buat macam ni. Kalau raja susu dan elektron, you no need to show the proton and neutron. That's the difference between these two. Please remember that. Okay. And then, magnesium wujud sisa semula jadi sebagai tiga isotop. Iaitu, ni satu. Second one. And third one. The same atom relative. So, if they say the same atom relative, the formula is sum of percentage of abundance peratus okay, you type with isotopic mass or you type with uh, nombor nukleon dah okay, actually nombor nukleon ni dia punya berat tau actually mass of that that's why if you learn upper syllabus we will call this the nuclear number as isotopic mass okay so over 100 so the isotopic mass is the nuclear number itself so percentage 79 times 24 plus with 25 times 10 plus with 11 times 26 over 100 so you press the calculator very correctly 79 times 24 you plus with 25 times 10 and you plus with 11 times 26 so 2432 divide by 100 is 24.32 that's it this is the answer okay so you dah dapat dah all the three marks so i hope you are clear with melaka and pahang question next video we will go for kelantan question